Hi and welcome back to another episode from Flying Eye Studios. Today we are going to make a simple rain effect in Fo Adobe Photoshop CC. And well, the rain effect will look in the end something like this. And the ori ori original photo I used uh, looked, at, looked like this. So from this uh, photo we will make a rain effect similar to this one. So. The th first thing I'm going to do is to delete these old layers. And uh, well, we're going to create a new layer and rename it to rain, for example. And go to, go to the paint bag tool and fill it with black color and go up to filter, go down to render and then fibers. And I'm going to drag this up around 37, I think. The same thing with the strength. And press OK. And next step is go up to filter again. Go down to blur and add a motion blur. And use the angle of 90 and the distance of 40 pixels. And press OK. Next step is go up to the adjustment layer. And we will add a layer. We will drag this black. Uh, no, the first thing we are going to do is to, add, to press this little box over here. And that means that it will only affect the rain layer and not the background. So, press this little uh, rectangle. And the second thing we are going to do is to drag this uh, arrow around like something like this. We can of course change this later. Uh, we we just need to go back to the levels and change this. And the why we are doing this is because it affect the affect the rain effect. So we go to rain again, and we are going to decrease the opacity. And as you can see, the rain effect is already uh, visible. So we are going to press Control T on the keyboard and go to free transform. Oops. And we can press Alt and Shift at the same time and just drag it out. Well, oh no, I'm sorry. Let's do this instead. Ah, crap. So let's go to rain again. Decrease the opacity to around 25 and press Ctrl T. And we want to uh, just drag this around a bit. And then we want to press Alt and Shift at the same time and just drag it up a bit. And the next step we are going to do is to add a mask to our, our uh, rain layer by pressing this little rectangle with a dot inside. We're going up to Filter, Blur, no, I'm sorry, Render, and add a Clouds. As we can see, the rain effect is. Uh, not so strong anymore. Um, and of course we can uh, just uh, play around with the opacity and settings in general to get the, the best rain effect for the photograph as we can. As we can. Well, it can take some time. Uh, and next step we are going to do is go to background. And we are going to add a, and add a curve layer. Just going to drag it down a bit to get this dark feel feeling in the photograph. And the next step we are going to do is go to background again and we are going to add a black and white layer and decrease the opacity to around 20%. Just get this dark feeling in the image. And uh, well, The next step is just to try to get the, the best rain effect uh, you possibly can. And I'm pretty happy with this res result actually. So I'm going to call it for this time. If you have any questions, just comment below the video and I'll, I will try to answer them as fast as I can. And I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Uh, and if you did, feel free to like the video, share with your friends and follow my channel. And I hope I see you to my next tutorial. And have a great, great time.